Hey everybody, my name is Carl Slaap, watchmaker from the Netherlands, and I can barely retain my excitement. And I think you are going to be excited as well. You've probably seen it on BBC News, the Rolex eaten by a cow and was in a Welsh field for 50 years. It all happened in 1974 when I was two years old. Um, we saw it on BBC News and Jurian, our mix, <laughs> Mr. Fix-It-All, um, contacted Mr. Steele's family uh, in Wales via the journalist and we offered our services for free. Uh, and the family agreed we are allowed to restore that particular watch. And Okay, we restore watches and we love to restore watches, but this is the rarest of opportunities to find out what the elements and the 50 years of abuse has done to the watch movement and the watch itself. How do the materials react of the acids and the moisture and lying in a field, stuff like that. You don't get that too much too often that you can examinate all the materials in a watch movement and how the elements treated it. We are so excited. Um, we've restored a watch before that was buried, but that was in Indonesia when it was a Dutch colony and they buried it, buried it um, at a Japanese prisoner of war camp. Um, after the war they dug it up and we restored it and that turned out to be the first steel uh, Patek Philippe Calatrava uh, 1939 uh, from the top of my head um, that was a real roller coaster ride and uh, it is running perfectly now but we are so excited that we are allowed to restore this particular Rolex with this particular uh, heritage and a watch that isn't running and in a drawer somewhere is just a dead piece of metal. But a running watch it has got it's alive and it's got a tough story to tell. And that is so exciting. Mm. When we open it, we might find <laughs> um, pipe tobacco as a movement. <laughs> I just realized now that whole generations doesn't know what pipe to either a pipe or tobacco is. But, <laughs> but if we open the watch and it's flaky brown stuff, we've got plenty of original parts that we can restore it into perfection anyway and keep it original. Um, so we are so proud that we are allowed to restore this particular watch eaten by a cow in a Welsh field for 50 years. Uh, been to Wales quite a few times and I love that region. So um, you will be part of that. Um, we are, you probably know about our uh, live streams here on our YouTube channel Chronoglide and the restoration, we are opening the watch live and you will be part of that. And what a surprise we will see what the movement is like and what 50 years of elements and acids has done to the to the brass pieces to the nickel plating to the the steel case um if you see this is mr steel in wales uh, 95 years old and this is the rolex um, you already see some rust on the dial. Of course, we leave the patina. That's part of the story. But the movement has to run. Of course, we leave the patina and the stains, stuff like that. But it has to run. And what a story it is. So we are so glad that it's coming our way. And you will be part of the restoration of this amazing watch 
Hope you are excited just like I am. And uh, hope to see you soon on our YouTube channel Groner Glide. Hey, see you. Bye bye.